Welcome everybody to Unmute 10002. I'm one of your co-hosts today, Moisir. My pronouns are he, his, and him. And I'm a volunteer at Undercurrent, which is an art space at 70 John Street in Brooklyn. And I am Adriana. My pronouns are she, they, and I'm also a volunteer with Undercurrent. We will be leading you through today's events. And what events are those, Adriana? You will be meeting the artists of the Unmute projects, and then we'll be splitting them up into teams of two. That sounds great. We request that everybody turns on their screens and feel free to smile and dance when you feel like it. Zoom meetings need a little bit of extra spice. Definitely smile, dance around, and please enjoy yourselves. This is going to be uh, hopefully exciting, full of twists and turns, etc. However, before we can meet the artists gathered here today, we have to thank our co-organizers and our partners. Unmute 10002 is a project by UNIC New York and Undercurrent, realized with financial support from UNIC, European Union National Institutes for Culture, Europe's network of national cultural institutes and organizations, with 36 members from all EU member states. This project was initiated by the Lithuanian Culture Institute and the Consulate General of Estonia in New York, and is co-organized by Austrian Cultural Forum New York, Bologna Brussels International New York, Czech Center New York, Delegation of Flanders to the USA, Goethe Institute New York, Arts Council Malta in New York, Polish Cultural Institute New York, Romanian Cultural Institute, the Hope Recycling Station, the Yinjik Halepetsky Society, and supported by the European Union Delegation to the United Nations. Finally, we would like to thank our undercurrent interns and colleagues who are working tirelessly behind the scenes to make this project possible. And now it's time to meet the 20 artists participating in Unmute 10002. I'll call each artist to introduce themselves. I'll be going in alphabetical order. So when I call your name, could you please state your name, give me your pronouns, and then give a brief, brief description of your work. So going by alphabetical order, the first person is Eren Aksu from Germany. Eren? Hi, I'm Eren. Uh, I'm a resident of Germany, but I'm originally from Turkey, and um, I'm a filmmaker who works with hybrid forms, uh, documentary essays, fiction essays, films, uh, and on the topics of ur urban transformation, performance, and uh, finally colonialism. Eren, can you give your pronouns, please? Uh, yeah, he. Okay, danke, Eren. Uh, next is Aaron Betsina from Malta. Aaron, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Aaron. Uh, I'm from Malta, yes. Uh, my pronouns are he or him. Um, so my I, uh, my practice deals with uh, sculpture, and um, I uh, I tend to uh, do anti-interactive work, uh, which means that uh, I produce work that is not uh, supposed to be interacted with physically. Uh, and this takes different forms from installation to small uh, sculpture. Grazie, Aaron. Yes. Next is Will Calhoun from New York. Hello, everyone. My name is Will Calhoun. I'm from New York. My pronouns are he or him. I am a musician, composer, photographer. I like to combine different types of visual art with music and technology and perform both in usual venues, but also in galleries. And, and, and uh, I, I'm a researcher as well. I lived abroad. I love researching a lot of ancestral uh, culture and rhythms and family life and those types of things. So it's all one big, lovely snowball for me. And thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much, Will. Uh, next is Sana de Vilda from Flanders. Hi, I'm Sana de Wilde, um, she or her, 
Um, I, uh, I'm a photographer and I, I use a photographic medium to do visual research, usually around the topics of genetics and mythology. And then I try to transform that into a physical space and I try to also elaborate on forms like installations or interactive uh, meets. Thank you. Thank you, Sana. Uh, next is Fool, aka Justyna Banaszczyk from Poland. Justyna? Uh, hi, my name is Justyna, uh, pronouns uh, she, her. I am electronic uh, producer, music producer from Łódź, Poland. Uh, if you never heard about Łódź, it's a big post-industrial uh, city in the middle of, uh, of the country. Um, I am here thanks to Polish Cultural Institute New York, so thank you. Uh, and I am working mostly in the fields of sound. Um, I am strongly connected to experimental and underground noise scene and also punk scene in, in Poland. But I am also a composer creating uh, soundtracks to games, radio plays and stuff like that. So here's me. Happy to be here. Thank you, Justine. Dziękuję, sorry. Uh, <laughs> next is Gabriela Gerwitzkaita from Lithuania. Gabriela, could you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Gabriela Gerwitzkaite. My pronouns is she, he, and uh, I'm from Vilnius, Lithuania, and um, I'm interested in relations between um, bodies and medical industry. So I create mostly artworks um, from my using my body's memory as an archival archival and I, I study study the impact of the construction of normalcy particularly in contemporary media social and political situations thank you very much Achu Gabriela next is Chris Gray from New York City hi friends my name is Chris Gray I am pronoun flexible um, so I use they she he and lots of other pronouns and I invite you to use um, e any of these interchangeably with me. I am a transgender artist. I'm living uh, right now on the traditional territories of the Susquehannock people in so-called State College, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm also based in um, the unceded territories of the Canarsie and Lenape people in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I uh, similarly, actually, I use my body as a kind of raw material and transness is a sort of laboratory for exploring systems of power that seek to control our body and sort of um, limit our access to life chances. So oftentimes I place myself in, um, in states of extreme vulnerability to invite audience members into discovering uh, hidden or disappeared queer histories or to experience some sort of transcendence together. I'm trained in ceramics, but for the most part, I make performance in live art. Thank you, Chris. Next is Sophie Guisset from Wallonia, Brussels. Hey, uh, so I'm Sophie Guisset. My pronouns are she. Um, so I come from Belgium, but I'm currently based in Berlin, actually between Berlin and Brussels. I'm a performer and a performance maker. So in my work, I mostly focus on the notions of playfulness, intimacy, and pleasure. Thank you. Merci, Sophie. Mm. Uh, next is Kyle Hitmeyer from New York City. Kyle? <clears throat> Hi, everyone. I'm Kyle Hitmeyer. Uh, my pronouns are he. Um, I'm originally a painter, I'm trained as a painter, but I've since then been um, experimenting a lot with CAD design, animation, video. Um, my work usually kind of delves into mm. corruption and power compositions based in nationally and internationally. Super. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, next is Mo Hong, also from New York City. Hello, my name is Mo Kong. Uh, my pronouns are they, them. Um, I'm a researcher and a, a sculptor and making installations too. So my work is mostly focused on um, my personal experience as immigration and also the power dynamic between the nation to nations involved in uh, with uh, neo-nationalism and environmental issues. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mo. Next is Ishan Lai from New York City. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Ishan Lai, and I'm originally from Taiwan, and now I'm based in, in New York. Uh, my medium is photography, but I uh, like to incorporate my sculpture making with my body using the performance or still life to portray a kind of complexity of my, uh, like the identity or us and otherness uh, to present a more psychological field in your photography. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ishan. Next is H. Lan Tao Lam. Hi, thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm H. Lan Tao Lam. Um, I am originally from Vietnam uh, by way, uh, in, based in New York for the last 20 years by way of Canada. Um, but right now I'm sheltering in place in the territories of Quinnipiac, uh, Nagatawket uh, land of the nation, uh, nation of indigenous people in Connecticut. Um, my work, I'm trained in architecture, but uh, my artistic practice has, has always been research-based. So I'm driven by the information I receive and I never know what I'm going to make until uh, the research lead me. Um, for the last 20 years, I've been collaborating with my life partner as well. So we make installation, sculpture, um, film, video. Uh, most recent project is an experimental um, animation. And currently, um, I am uh, learning how to sculpt uh, figurative, uh, to recreate figurative sculpture. Um, so I'm a little bit of a Jack and Jill of all trades. And your pronouns, Lan Tao? Oh, they, them. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Maria Lukachova from the Czech Republic. Yeah, uh, hi, uh, my pronouns is she. And I'm from Czech Republic, from Prague, and um, I'm focusing on uh, on cash and on bank and uh, economy and and those markets. And I'm I'm working with uh, video, mostly with 3D animation. But last days I'm uh, some more like a mural painter and um, yeah, and painter at all. And I'm doing uh, illustration, uh, and I'm also working with text, uh, and I'm a rapper, and yeah, I'm singing. So that's all. Thank you very much. Dziękuję, Maria. And next is Olesia Kaczynowska Mund from Estonia. Olesia? Um, hi, guys. I'm a Russian speaking Estonian, uh, and uh, I'm from Tallinn. Um, I'm an, a painter basically, but uh, also art educator and uh, painting conservator. And um, now I'm uh, mixing different kind of medias, video, uh, sculptures, installations, and performance. Um, my, uh, I examine personal experience, feelings, and involvement in the context of historical and social events in order to find opportunities for transformation, adaptation to a new or changing living conditions. Um, I engage with subjects such as stateless status, migrations, integration, assimilation, power consumption. Um, um, <laughs> And um, I'm interested in um, uh, hidden layers, maybe beneath something that could be beneath. And uh, my artwork explores the limits of identity and personality under the various political and social conditions. Thank you. Aida, спасибо, Alessia. Next is Sheila Maldonado from New York City. So I'm Sheila Maldonado and my pronouns are she and her. I am a poet primarily and uh, I also write short prose. I take a lot of pictures on my iPhone. And so that's a thing now. Um, <laughs> I 
deal with a lot of humor and music in poetry and identity, but kind of broken identity. And um, yeah, I'm based in New York. My family's from Honduras and I explore all the sort of spaces between all that. Thank you for having me here. Great, thanks, Sheila. Next is Barbara Maria Noy from Austria. Hi, my name is Barbara. My pronouns is she or her. And I'm a classical clarinetist. I'm trained and educated in Vienna. And since a few years, I also work with performance and um, include performance into my music. So I mostly work with body movements, but also like scenic, scenic performances. And yeah, I try to um, combine that with music and clarinet playing. And um, I'm really into stage performances, but I also work with um, video. And yeah, but I also really like to combine all kind of art forms. So I also work with text sometimes. I also like to speak in my performances. And yeah, so actually that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. And next is Emmanuel Massillon from New York City. How you guys doing? My name is Emmanuel Massillon. I'm a conceptual artist uh, born in Washington, D.C., but I currently live in uh, New York City. And uh, I make work about uh, the complex history of race, identity, and culture as it relates to people from African descent. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, my pronoun is uh, he, him. Thank you. Thanks, Emmanuel. Uh, next is Alex Mirutiu from Romania. Hello, everyone. My name is Alex Mirutiu, and I'm a Romanian artist living and working in Cluj. I work across performance, uh, video, sculpture, and writing. And um, I have an interest in the ontological medium of remaining, and I'm interested in the dynamic between desire and uh, strategic action. I'm influenced by philosophy, literature, and design. And I'm currently working, uh, developing work on the ethics of care and uh, sovereignty. Um, thank you. Welcome, Alex. Next is Emily Shanahan from New York City. Hey, everyone. Um, hey, so I'm Emily. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. And um, I am originally from Montreal, Canada, um, but I've been living in Brooklyn for the past several years. Um, and I mostly work in video, um, collage, uh, and recently I've been uh, making artist books. And I typically am um, focusing on issues of gender, uh, labor, and technology. Um, and yeah, it's uh, really nice to see everybody here and I'm excited to be here. Thanks. Thanks, Emily. And our last of the 20 artists is Sydney Shavers, also from New York City. Hi, all. Um, I am Sydney Shavers. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. Um, yeah, I am in New York, so that is uh, the Munsi Lenape people uh, land. Um, so just want to recognize that. Um, I am a performance-based artist. I consider myself to be interdisciplinary or like a transmedia artist, um, which just means I work across different med uh, mediums to like uh, convey my message. Um, so I do internet-based work. I make GIFs. Um, I do writing, I do videos, I do some sculpture, um, and I'm interested in like internet culture, meme culture, pop culture, and also like smartphones, um, and the way that those kind of have uh, affected us and like things hidden in plain sight. Um, and also this idea of like human desire and drives and like how that affects like our notions of like criticality. Um, and like categorization, um, also interested in like ideas of like failure and like what that means and like uh, the possible for like a, you know, the potential of like different movements or objects and things. So. Super, thank you very much, Sydney. Uh, that's it for all of the artists. So now I'm going to pass the 
microphone, the proverbial microphone over to Adriana to describe Unmute 10002. Similar to our last project, 10001, Unmute prompts a transatlantic exchange of both communications and ideas using New York City as the base or the epicenter. In a time in which so much of our daily life is inundated with media and technology, how can we create new futures while physically separated? During the online residency entitled 10002 and facilitated by the Brooklyn-based gallery Undercurrent, two artists from different backgrounds will collaborate on a joint multidisciplinary project that imagines new sustainable possibilities for what can feel like a, an uncertain future. Oftentimes with technology and the malleability of the digital world, we can remove and thus make obsolete the boundaries between us. This is what we hope to achieve by pairing you all together. Although it is novel, the digital plane can be ripe with possibility for both alternative thought and new realities. Unmute is organized by Undercurrent and the European Union National Institutes for Cultures New York cluster. It is going live today, February 12th, 2021 in concurrence with the Lunar New Year and will continue through May 9th, celebrating Europe Day. And it's going live at unmute.nyc. So now it's time to make up the teams of that all 20 of you artists will be part of. So we'll be splitting you up into 10 teams of two, of course. And we're going to be doing that with a lottery. Adriana, could you explain how this lottery is going to work for us, please? Absolutely. As I have mentioned, we need 10 teams, where each team is comprised of one digital native, born after 1986, and one digital immigrant, or before 1986. Additionally, each team is comprised of one EU artist and one New York artist. Uh, Adriana, how are we going to ensure that both criteria are met? Mosir here has a bowl with all of the EU artists, while all of the New York artists are with me in two bowls split by age. When Mosir picks an EU artist, I will pick from either my New York Digital Native Bowl or my Digital Immigrant Bowl, depending on who Mosir picks. Excellent. Very convenient that we, that we have these bowls with these little balls with names in them already prepared ahead of time. Um, okay, great. So then... The teams are going to be unfolded in a specific order. So please make some noise when you are selected. These are your teams for the project. And <laughs> we will be starting off with Team Web. So I'm going to be picking the EU artist here out of this bowl cup. Here we go. Then I open up the little ball. And the person is... Alessia from Estonia. Now, Alessia is a digital immigrant, Adriana, so can you please pick a New York artist from the digital native bowl? Mo Kong from New York. They are a digital native. The next team is Team Mouse. So I have to pick from the little ball. Take out the little paper and it's Aron from Malta. Aron is a digital native. So who will be the accompanying digital immigrant from New York? Adriana? It's Kyle from New York. Congratulations, Kyle and Aaron. Next is Team Profile. Team Profile. So who from the EU is going to be in Team Profile? There we go. All right. And the person is... Babaha from Austria. Babaha is a digital native, Adriana. So who's going to be the digital immigrant? Chris Gray from New York. Uh, 
congratulations. Okay. Next up is Team Cloud. Team Cloud. Cloud City. So let's pick an EU artist from Team Cloud. And in fact, I will pick the one who has the broken ball. So you see it's just half a ball. And then I will take out the slip. And Team Cloud is, the European will be Justyna from Poland. Justyna is a digital immigrant, Adriana. So please thrust your hand into the digital natives bowl. Emmanuel from New York. Excellent. Next up is Team Bug. Team Bug. Bug, bug, bug. The European Union representative of Team Bug will be. Da, 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 da. Sana, Sana from Flanders. Sana is a digital native. Adriana, who from New York will be joining Sana? Salam Pao, a digital immigrant from New York. Super, thank you very much. So that's Team Bug, Team Bug, Sana and Lantau. Now we have five teams remaining. So Team Key, Team Key. Who from the EU will be, oh, there's the other half of the ball. Team Key, Team Key. Sophie from Wallonia, Brussels. Sophie is a digital native. Who will be Sophie's pair? Adriana, who's making up Team Key? Will Calhoun from New York, a digital immigrant. Excellent, a musician and a dancer. Amazing coincidence. Team Stream. Okay. And the European, European representative of Team Stream will be Maria from Czechia. Maria is a digital native. So with whom will she be paired, Adriana? Emily Shanahan from New York. Emily, excellent. Now Team Branch, the antepenultimate team. Three balls left, three European artists left. Do you also have three balls only remaining, Adriana? Okay, everything should be going according to plan. There we go. Team Branch will be represented in Europe or via Europe by Alex from Romania. Alex is a digital immigrant, Adriana, so who is the digital native? Sydney from New York, a digital native. Super. Alex and Sydney. I've got two, two names remaining here. Oh, for Team Thumbnail. Team Thumbnail is the second to last team. So let's pick for Team Thumbnail. Okay. Only two balls remain. Spin, spin, spin. And Team Thumbnail, our European delegate is ah, Eden from Germany. Eden is a digital native, Adriana.
None other than Sheila from New York. All right, Erin and Sheila make up team thumbnail. Superb. Uh, so, Adriano, I have one name left. Uh, presumably, one European has not yet heard their name spoken, and presumably one New York artist has not yet heard their name spoken, but we'll pick the balls out just to make sure everything worked. So spin, spin, spin. And as expected, the final European delegate for Team Ram is Gabriela from Lithuania. And Gabriela is a digital immigrant. So Adriana, I hope your last ball is in the digital natives ball. Ishwen from New York, a digital native. Yes, everybody wins. Superb, so everybody had their name read, correct? And everybody was appropriately generationalized as a digital native or a digital immigrant? Give yourselves a round of applause. This was a huge, <laughs> this is a huge yes. thing you just did. <laughs> Reminding your class was a huge one. This is a huge thing you just did. Uh, I think I have this straight. So uh, Team Web is Alessia and Mo. Team Mouse will be Aaron and Kyle. Team Profile will be Barbara and Chris. Team Cloud, Justina and Emmanuel. Team Bug, Sana and Lan Tao. Team Key, Sophie and Will. Team Stream, Maria and Emily. Team Branch, Alex and Sydney, Team Thumbnail, Erin and Sheila, and finally, Team Ram, Gabriela and Ishwan. Thank you very much for participating in this lottery, and we hope that these pairings will be creatively, intellectually, and artistically fruitful. Adriana, would you like to lead us to the final final portion of today's proceedings. Now that we've gotten this pairing business squared away, I would like to congratulate you on passing the first hurdle of this exciting artistic endeavor. Our undercurrent colleagues will be emailing you your teammates' contact information and your icebreaker toolkit. I would like to close with a couple of resources for you all. First, Mosir and I co-host the Undercurrent podcast, where we interview many of the exhibiting artists showing work in Undercurrent. Additionally, we will be releasing Unmute-themed episodes throughout the project. The podcast is available on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can find out more about Undercurrent at undercurrent.nyc and by following our Instagram and Facebook accounts at undercurrent.nyc. And thank you very much, Adriana, as always. Thank you to all the artists for uh, joining us today and for participating in this hopefully exciting project. We are going live today, as mentioned before, at on today, February 12th, which is the Lunar New Year, at unmute.nyc. Presumably you are watching this video on unmute.nyc. And the project will continue until May 9th, which is Europe Day. Come to Unmute NYC to see videos to track the progress of the teams. Pick a favorite team, pick a second favorite team, or love all the teams equally. It's all the same. What's important is that these, uh, these cross-cultural barriers work out and that we derive art from it all. So one more time, unmute.nyc. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Thank you, everyone, who is watching this. And in absolute closing, language is the leading indicator of change. It leaves the first traces of shifts in society. We tailor language to fit us better to communicate our new states of being. The global pandemic has forced us to change how we communicate and use language in unexpected and difficult ways. We must construct new pathways six and more feet apart or screen to screen. When we are on those screens, we use language to excite new worlds into being, 
with friends and strangers alike. In the context of Unmute, we look forward to the connections from crossing the linguistic and digital lines that you all will create. Thank you.